Figma Core Excel software allows for user customization of numerous procedural and report specific aspects of pulse wave analysis and pulse wave velocity assessments. This video will detail each of the different settings and options. To navigate to the settings window, click System in the upper left of the screen and choose Settings. The first tab of the settings screen is the General tab. This tab has options that pertain to the overall SfigmaCore software setup and report display. Under Startup mode, the desired modality of either pulse wave velocity or pulse wave analysis can be selected for default loading when the software is launched. Under Setup screen, it is possible to enable patient privacy so that patient identifying information on the setup screen will be hidden by default. Click Show to display the patient information. It can once again be hidden by clicking Hide. The Height Unit option allows for the choice of Imperial or Metric as the units of measure when entering the patient's height. Select Imperial to enter the patient's height in feet and inches, or choose Metric to enter the height in centimeters. The Comms Port option allows the user to select the communication port that the Sphygma Core Excel module is plugged into. Additionally, it allows for the selection of simulation mode. The correct communication port can be automatically selected by clicking System from the upper left menu and choosing Find Module from the drop-down menu. A notification on the bottom of the screen will confirm communication with the Sphygma Core Excel module and successful selection of the communication port. Under the Reports section, the report title can be customized for printed patient reports. The title can be a maximum of 39 characters, including spaces. The Report Logo option allows for a customized logo to be placed on the top of printed reports. The maximum resolution for the logo is 512 by 512 pixels. However, any larger size logos will automatically be scaled down. In the Extra Features section, Clinical Trials option can be enabled or disabled by checking or unchecking the box. When enabled, a new tab with additional settings is displayed. These settings will be discussed later in the video. To return any settings back to the default values on any tab, click the Default button in the lower right of the window. The second tab of the Settings screen is the PWV tab. This tab has settings related to pulse wave velocity assessments. If the Sphygma Core Excel has not been configured to perform pulse wave velocity, this tab will not be present. The Capture Time option allows for the selection of the amount of time desired to capture waveform data during pulse wave velocity assessments. The default and most commonly used capture time is 10 seconds. Under Capture Guide, the Guidance Bars, Auto Capture, and Cuff Tonometer Sync options can all be disabled or enabled. Guidance Bars provide visual feedback on screen during data capture that inform the operator about the consistency of the waveforms. Auto Capture allows the software to automatically capture waveform data once waveforms of sufficient quality and duration are present. Even when Auto Capture is enabled, waveforms can still be manually captured. Cuff Tonometer Sync is an option that, when enabled, delays the inflation of the thigh cuff until a carotid waveform of sufficient quality has been acquired. This setting is advantageous for new users practicing tonometry technique. However, experienced users may find disabling this feature allows for a more time-efficient assessment since the cuff inflates immediately upon capture initiation. In the Simulated Data section, the default file used during simulated assessments can be selected. Additionally, when an error is encountered during pulse wave velocity assessments that prevents a report from being generated, a simulated file is automatically created and placed in the simulation directory. This file can then be selected from the drop-down menu and used as a source of troubleshooting. Under PWV Distance Method, there are two options for distance input. The subtraction method requires measurements from the carotid artery to the suprasternal notch, from the suprasternal notch to the thigh cuff, and finally from the femoral artery to the thigh cuff. The direct method only requires a measurement from the carotid artery directly to the thigh cuff, and from the femoral artery to the thigh cuff. It is recommended when using the direct method that the entered distances equal 80% of the measured value, as this coincides with current professional societal recommendations. 
the software will not automatically calculate or apply the 80% value. Under PWV Distance Unit, there is an option of using either millimeters or centimeters for the distance measurements. Please note that it is not possible to enter decimal places, so more accuracy will be gained by using the millimeters option. Femoral to cuff distance allows for defining the pre-populated value in the femoral to cuff distance field. The value can range from 20 to 500 millimeters, with the default value being 200 millimeters. Even with the default value pre-populating this field, it is recommended that this distance be measured and updated before each assessment. Under Report Screen, the European General Population option can be enabled or disabled. When enabled, a pulse wave velocity assessment that has both an entered height and brachial blood pressure will display a graph on the report screen comparing the patient's results to the European general population. The third tab of the settings screen is the PWA tab. This tab has settings related to pulse wave analysis assessments. The capture time option allows for the selection of the amount of time desired to capture waveform data during pulse wave analysis assessments. The default and most commonly used capture time is 5 seconds. Under Capture Guide, the Guidance Bars and Auto Capture options can be disabled or enabled. Guidance Bars provide visual feedback on screen during data capture that inform the operator about the consistency of the waveforms. Auto Capture allows the software to automatically capture waveform data once waveforms of sufficient quality and duration are present. Even when Auto Capture is enabled, waveforms can still be manually captured. In the Simulated Data section, the default file used during simulated assessments can be selected. Additionally, when an error is encountered during pulse wave analysis assessments that prevents a report from being generated, a simulated file is automatically created and placed in the simulation directory. This file can then be selected from the drop-down menu and used as a source of troubleshooting. At this time, in both the Capture Input and the Workflow section, there is only one option that can be selected, and it is not possible to change. The fourth tab of the Settings screen is the Brachial BP tab. This tab has settings related to brachial blood pressure measurements performed as part of a pulse wave analysis assessment. In the Auto PWA section, Thresholds can be defined based off brachial blood pressure results, which would then trigger a PWA assessment to continue. Under the Assessments section, the drop-down menu can be used to select the number of brachial blood pressures automatically performed prior to the pulse wave analysis assessment. Up to five brachial blood pressures may be captured, with the software calculating the average of all blood pressures measured. If selecting two or more, the option to ignore the first brachial blood pressure from the calculation of the average becomes available. The initial rest field can be set to implement a delay before brachial cuff inflation. Once the start button has been pressed, the software will wait the predefined time before inflating the cuff for the first brachial blood pressure measurement. This field can be set to a maximum of 999 seconds. The subsequent rest field is the amount of time in between multiple brachial blood pressure measurements. This field can be set to a maximum of 140 seconds. If the Clinical Trials option is enabled in the General Settings tab, a new tab will appear at the top of the Settings window. Please note that while the Clinical Trials option is enabled, Simulation Mode will automatically be disabled. Another feature of Clinical Trials option is the addition of both an Operator and a Visit field on the Setup screen for both Pulse Wave Analysis and Pulse Wave Velocity. The Operator field allows for free text entry of an operator name or initials, and the Visit field allows for additional time point tracking through a Visit identifier. The Visit field content is able to be customized under the Clinical Trials option tab. In the Visit Description window, click the top row to enable typing of a new Visit name. Once named, click Enter and the Visit name will be added in the Visit Description window. Multiple Visit names can be entered. Also, any visit name can be edited by selecting that visit and double-clicking on it. Visits may also be deleted by selecting the visit and pressing Delete. Once the visit list is completed and saved, these custom visit names will appear in the drop-down menu on the setup screen. The Clinical Trial option 
also allows the ability to password protect the entire settings window. To enable, type a password in both the password and confirmation fields and click protect. No settings can be changed on any tab until the password is re-entered and unprotect is clicked. For additional information, please visit the AtCore Medical webpage or contact your AtCore Medical representative for further help. Thank you.